All right, welcome back in on our forecast here, looking at the latest data on this uh, Friday morning. Yes, we have made it towards the weekend, and here you go. You can see live outside there are lots of clouds, uh, and pretty soon those clouds are going to be producing widespread rain. I think mainly by around lunchtime and after those showers are going to become much more likely for us for this Friday. So don't leave home thinking oh, it's going to be another dry day today just because it is right now. There could be an isolated shower, but I'm going to give you the green light for the morning commute this afternoon, though. I'm going to switch it over to a yellow light here. Wiper is going to be in use. Those rain showers going to be coming down and could be even pretty steady to heavy at times the second half of today. Again, right now, heading to the gym early this morning, just waking up, enjoying the coffee, just hanging out. No rain on the roof just yet, but it's not far off with those showers from Chicago to Cincinnati. Indianapolis getting their first downpours and then back towards St. Louis, the rain coming down and all of this is streaming northward out of the Gulf of Mexico. So timing, let's just jump right into this in our hour by hour forecast. It says here at 11 a.m. Notice that rain is starting to pick up in intensity by this afternoon becomes much more widespread. It's going to be warm, but it is going to be very soggy outside. Some of the heaviest downpours likely come as we head towards the evening and overnight hours tonight. One trend that's been happening here in the data that we've seen overnight, this system is speeding up just a little bit. So I think this actually gets out of here a little earlier Saturday than what we were originally indicating, but it's going to turn cooler early as well. That northwest wind starts to blow on Saturday. And while there still could be a couple isolated showers the second half of the day, how about some blue showing up on our map Sunday? A few snow flurries, not out of the question as this system departs leaving in its wake a very chilly setting rainfall totals again a half inch to an inch a pretty good bet in most places overcast skies before the rain showers pick up a high of 55 today but that's a little deceiving obviously with the rain you're not going to get to enjoy that mild air 48 temperatures dropping tomorrow 42 flurries possible on Sunday you might be thinking oh here's that other shoe that's dropping here comes the cold air we knew winter was going to come back right Nah, Monday 53 sunshine's back by Tuesday. We're in the mid to upper 60s. Hello spring with more possible showers late in the week. That's the latest on our 10 day forecast.